clear all this stuff off. Before we get to Becky's machine, there is, what I'm doing is, I know a lot of people out there, move this back out, you have these guys, and there's the spool rack holders, they go up here on your spool rack, okay, they hold your spool straight, well, nobody makes them anymore, well, I've tried, and I've come up with a substitute for it. So I'm making my own substitutes for those spool racks. So if you want, you can contact me about it. Uh, it fits. It's it's basically the same same piece, and it will fit. It it, it will fit down, and it'll do the same job. So if you need them, I'm make I'm remaking those. Now let's pull Becky's machine up here. Pull that thing back on. Make sure you can see this. Okay. We'll do a couple stitches. I was doing buttonholes before, and I'll show you a buttonhole on it, because I know a lot of the ladies like to do buttonholes, but they even like to have just the machine to do it, you know, even if they don't use it. Now, I'm not a great buttonhole maker. It takes a lot of practice sometimes. But this comes out pretty well. Okay. There's a good buttonhole. And let's go to one of the other stitches. Actually, I'm going to do the honeycomb. Got to put... enough of that. Okay. There's my honeycomb. It's it is in line. This material here is it's it's very there's little threads in this and when the machine goes and puts it into the same hole it will pull pull it down so it looks like it's not really attached but it's actually in the same hole. All right, so that's just a reminder because it's hard to see on a video of whether it is or not. And uh, let's see, I did some other ones here. I do a lot of the different stitches uh, just to check the machine out. Most of the times if you get certain ones right or, or a bunch of them right, the rest of them will fall in line. Okay, there's a, there's a process. There's two different uh, feed settings on it that has to do with the pattern assembly 
to get these stitches in and there's also a different feed assembly for the machine itself for the adjustments okay now we'll go and we'll do four layers five layers of denim all right and I have to, to reset and I had my tension set to one and a half to do the buttonhole and the other stitch so I'll bring it up to about three or so uh, usually the settings on um, on the 1222 E's are between three and five okay when I go and do the other thing for the vinyl I'll turn the tension up and that's just so that it pulls because vinyl is really hard to pull through okay Oop. helps to take it out of the last stitch there we go Now this might be a little bit hard to see, but it does stitch through it. That's five layers, and it's hard to see on the back because it's pink thread. But uh, <coughs> I'll sh I'm going to show you now some something else. Um, I'm going to use some upholstery thread here, and this is basically the type of upholstery threads you can get it all anywhere. Walmart and Michaels and all those other places. Well, not Michaels, but a lot of different giant fabrics and whatever you have around you. And I have a 110 needle this time. I looked in my stock and found some. If you remember the other, the other, if you watched the other video, it was a little hard for me to get the upholstery thread through. The needle that I had because I, I only had an 80 needle in there so put our upholstery thread in oh, there we go pull this thread up holds it straight okay this is four layers of vinyl it's really thick stuff it's about a quarter of an inch thick okay I'll make sure my needles up okay now that went straight straight through it straight through the back and you can see it pulled the stitches up that's why I tighten up the tensions a little bit because it's hard to pull through vinyl okay so that's basically it Becky's machine is fixed and and ready to go back to her for a machine that somebody told her that couldn't be repaired okay uh, it it's working fine now so if you have a machine and you were told that you couldn't go and get it fixed, then just drop me an email and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, most chances I'll be able to fix it. Even if you have the 1229, I'm willing to work on those and see what I can do with them. Okay? So thank you for watching the video and have a good day.